their conquest would be far more difficult. So before striking with his armies, he used another weapon. I should be on, I should be on X-Files. I'm a reptile. What I spit is heat. I live in streets that pump more sand than Venice Beach. My fan base range from Spain out to Tennessee, Sicily, Italy, Nola, Pistol Peak. Mention me! Mention me! You gon' be sleeping where the fishes be. Little Miss Thang gon' be missing for like 60 weeks. I flip your head back and prefer like a Missy B. New strap. New February 4th, he said the hardest thing to do in life is write a will. Holla, what up, nigga? Purchase your ticket to be in the building or catch it live on paper through street. Propaganda barrage to confuse, to make them lose faith, to divide and conquer. I just got one more thing to do before I get out of here, y'all. And that's get into my quick flowers segment. I think I hit all my topics. Yep, I hit all my topics. Um, I want to give flowers to somebody. This person is one of my favorite rappers. It's been one of my favorite rappers for a very, very long time. I'm talking about on beat, y'all. I'm not talking about battlers. I'm talking about on beat. But I feel like everybody in battle rap probably knows him. I've been promoting him like to my friends. Like... I'll, I'll share his mixtapes to people. I play him in a wheel. Uh, I, I keep up with his career. I keep up with his mixtapes. Um, I've even had the honor of, of being on one of his mixtapes. And um, the reason why I want to get this person flowers is because I really don't understand how somebody can continue to pump out that level of artistry, lyricism, and eyebrow raising bars and lines for this amount of time at this pace. It's like, when do you start to run out of material? There's another artist. <clears throat> a lot of y'all may not know who I'm talking about, but, but I said him before on the channel years ago, and I'm a fan of him. I've been following him for a long time. His name is T-Rock. T-Rock. R-O-C-K. He used to he, he was he was running with triple six mafia for a second i'm just getting off off off, off of the person i'm giving flowers to just to make a point um sky t rock i'm a cd and, a, and an album and a mixtape collector for anybody that i've shown pieces of my collection to before and some of my pieces of my collection are in old blogs and videos and shit. and t rock i have the most cds of I don't know how he put out that much material and still is able to stay so consistent. If I hope he's probably got like, I probably got like 50 CDs from him. Like 50 mixtapes and albums from T-Rock. And he rarely has features, no short songs, the format typically of three verses and a hook. I'm going to just be like, how T-Rock? How do you, how? You're making this much more music. Back to my guy with flowers that I'm giving flowers to. The artistry, the bars, the, the, the creativity. RJ Payne, how do you do it? I've been doing the music thing from the sandbox. I've been there watching, studying, and tuning in to the greats forever, to even the unknowns. T-Rock is one of those guys. R.J. Payne. I go back with R.J. Payne to Rain Man. I even booked him for a battle one time, Rain Man versus Gems, for people that really know their, their RBE history, right? And then after Rain Man, I remember he was going by Izzy for real for a second, I-Z-Z-I-E, I think it was spelled. Izzy for real. You know what I'm saying? Fast forward, R.J. Payne. R.J. Payne, when he had that name, that's the one that started to break through. People found out who he was, finally. Artists and celebrities and producers started finding out who he is. Listen to him. One thing about RJ Payne that was really grabbing, not just his artistry and his, his talent, 
but his voice. He's got he's got the voice where it's just like, yo, that nigga's delivery and his voice just really pushes shit down. Like it just lands every it just lands the lines crazy. Right. And this man's creativity is through the roof. One thing that I see him do, because I follow him on the gram, he does a lot of movie type shit, um, epic cinematic type shit, where he'll take the Bronx tale, like the scene from Bronx tale when the epic shit, Sonny locks the door on the bikers, now you can't leave. And he'll, he'll put that whole scene in rap format. I think he did a whole mixtape of um, of New Jack City, and I think it was co-hosted and narrated by Ice T, the real Ice T. And I think he did it from the perspective of Nino Brown getting out of jail. What? A whole tape like that of Nino Brown home now? Yo, <laughs> RJ is stupid. I had the pleasure of of, of um dropping um putting a drop on, I think is his uh, Sean Price dedication. That's one thing about RJ Payne that I like a lot too. This man, I've never seen an artist pay more homage than RJ Payne. Nobody. To our fallen soldiers and legends, to people that are actively, I think he did one for Big Pun. I think he did one for Sean Price. I think he did one for Prodigy. Like full mixtapes, I think. Nobody pays more homage to our culture as another fellow artist in RJ Payne. Humble guy, talented guy. We had a song of him that he that he wrote for RBE um, playing at the end of most of our battles. Bone Crush, I ain't never scared. Like, man, I ain't never scared. Shot the, and, and, and we played that at the end of all of our battles. And the only reason that we stopped is because um, somebody told us that um, that beat you know, was a, a like kind of like remixed or something like that. And like the the sample of it was they owned it. So we stopped using it. We was like, all right, cool, whatever. And I, I hit RJ up and I was just like, yo, where you get this beat? He was like, somebody hooked him up with it or whatever. But he, it's not like he watched a producer create it from scratch. So he wasn't sure. So he was like, you know what? We're not even going to fuck with it. We're not, not fuck with it. We're not even going to risk it. So we stopped putting that on our shit. But go back to some of our old battles, how the battles would end. And you would see that song come on and our social medias run. That's RJ. That's RJ. You know what I'm saying? Very, very humble guy. Hardworking guy. His talent, he literally is one of my favorite rappers of all time. And that coming from me, not to pat myself on the back, but pat, pat, me doing the music thing the way that I do it, I didn't call motherfuckers out. I didn't call the Cassidy's and the 40 Cows out and be like, yo, I got more of your music than you. You're, you don't even have all your own mixtapes. I got them. That's how I be calling niggas out over the years. That's my collection. That's how deep I do. I used to go crazy over mixtapes. Like I was dead when mixtapes was the super it thing. The super it thing. The double CD drama king, K Slay CDs, and the clue mixtapes and the DJ. I was there. Don't make me get up and go grab this shit. You know what I'm saying? The, all the Pat Poos mixtapes. And that's where I come from. I was fucking with everybody. I got gravy CD. Every, I got everybody. Everything. So for me to say you one of my favorite rappers, you know, on the low, who's another one of my favorite rappers on beat? Joey Jihad. On the low. My Philly niggas, man. Y'all niggas don't know about that taking out the trash. You don't want to see me spaz. Hit him up. You don't want to see me spaz. Hit him up. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Shout out to Hattie, man. Hattie's another one of on the niggas don't know. But flowers, man, for RJ Payne. I don't know how you do it, how you've been doing it this long and still being this good and putting out this amount of creativity and material. That's born talent. To be truly, truly born to do it with somebody else that doesn't have that talent like me to say how and don't understand it, that's how. It's like born with that shit, man. Salute to you, G's.